hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix you will need a new app to open this ms action center link error whenever you try to click on sound wi-fi and battery icon in windows 10 or windows 11 let's fix it guys you just need to open up file explorer go to this pc go to local disk c and go to users folder double click on it in here you just need to double click on the username folder guys if you don't know your username then you just need to click on the start icon and here is your username after knowing that double click on the username in my case ajay.m.p is my username after double click on it you will find app data folder if you don't have app data folder then you just need to select view on the top and select show and make sure to check this option hidden items after that this folder will show up after showing it you just need to double click on it and just need to go to local in here you just need to find microsoft folder just double click on it find windows folder and find a notification folder in notification folder you just need to delete everything inside it just by right click on it and delete it after deleting it just need to close stuff here and restart your pc after restarting your pc you can check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved let's move on to the same solution guys same solution you just need to go to search menu and type powershell right click on the windows powershell and select run as administrator and select yes now you just need to check my video description for this uh, command used in my video just to copy and paste it uh, tap the bar right click eject and paste it in press enter after finishing this command you just need to close stuff here and go ahead and restart your pc after restarting your pc you can check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved, let's move on to the third solution, guys. The third solution, you just need to go to search menu and type gpedit.msc. Click on open it. Under user configuration, you just need to expand the administrative templates. And you just need to click on start menu and taskbar. On right side, you just need to find remove notification and action center remove notification and action center double click on it set this to disabled and select apply and ok for save changes now you just need to close stuff here and restart your pc after restarting your pc you can check if the problem solved or not I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to leave a like guys. You can also subscribe me and support me guys. Thank you.